Hello everyone. This is a quick video to go over my Glock jigs. I recently had an unhappy customer who ordered these jigs. This is how they arrived. Uh, two pieces tightened together and then you have to separate them and then use them. But I don't know if they could figure out how to use them or had way higher expectations than what they should have for these jigs. But they're universal, they're designed to fit a variety of frame sizes. So it's not gonna be a tight fit. Um, it's just a general guide so you can keep your uh, frame lined up on your laser bed. And these thumb screws tighten the frame down so that it's not gonna scoot around. So you tighten the frame down, then you lock this on your bed with the screws and you can complete your work without having to worry about it shifting around and it's being held level. So. Let me go over those real quick for you. When you receive the jigs, they will be tightened together with the two thumb screws. Just take the th thumb screw off. And you release piece for side one and two. Also keep in mind these aren't just for laser engraving. These can be used as armorers blocks to punch pins out, etc. That's why all the holes are in them. They're based off the original Glock block. And I'd reached out to the gentleman that designed it and asked for permission to modify. So anyway, when you have your jigs here, you're gonna have a loose fit course but what we're trying to do is accommodate for every pistol type out there the main part where the business happens is on this trigger guard block this is what keeps it indexed and flat so that's how it keeps it level different size frame again that's what keeps it level it might not even touch the actual block but as long as the trigger guard is making contact and it's tightened down it's not going to go anywhere and from that point you can shift the frame and line it up so that it is perfectly see look it'll index perfectly straight then you take your trigger guard block the little piece put it over Get it to where it's almost tight, gets it lined up straight. Tighten it, lock it down, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's all there is to it. That's how you use them. Same for the opposite side. I designed these to be simple and quick, not overly complicated, but then again, see, it, this one's a little tighter because it's a bigger frame. So, line it up straight. Block it down, and again, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's all there is to it, and it's indexed straight with the trigger block and again straight with the trigger block so that keeps it flat but that's all there is to it so if you do order a set and are unhappy for any reason give me some constructive feedback and let me know if there are any improvements that can be made. Um, I'm definitely not an expert in CAD design, but I could always reach out to a couple friends, uh, Gio and Tyler, and uh, see if they have any suggestions. But other than that, they're pretty simple, designed to do one job, and so far I've found they do it well. And for those that have ordered, thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. These are printed on demand. I don't keep a bunch of different colors in stock so I just basically print them as you order them so give me a few days and I'll get them shipped out so that's it for today please like and subscribe 
Thank you for watching.